Season's greetings, and welcome to another edition of Seamless Style, powered by Politics and Polaroids. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. It's that time of year again, it's the holiday season. This is when we find ourselves being invited to various functions. Office parties at work, Christmas parties, Thanksgiving get-togethers at family and friends, things of that nature, also New Year's Eve parties. So today's episode will focus on different ensembles that you can put together for those particular functions and be outstanding as well as still staying true to your Ralph Lauren self. First things first though, we're gonna dispel a myth. The holiday season, in particular Christmas, should not be limited to red and green. I'm not sure of the history of red and green. I really don't give a damn. All I know is is that that is not the limit for the holiday season. And I think we owe that to Ralph Lauren. Um, Ralph Lauren is not just a brand, it's a lifestyle. You've heard me say that before. You've seen that written in memes before, things of that nature, but it's it's truth behind that. Um, Mr. Lauren was able to incorporate different forms of living and the lifestyle into the clothes so you're not just buying clothes so when it comes to the holidays he was able to make popular black and red black and rugby royal black and kelly green and those hues also can pair well with grades because we're also talking about ski trips we're also, we're talking about formal get-togethers for the holidays. So you may be breaking out the tux. We're talking about tartans now. Um, holiday tartan as well as black watch. So there's so many different patterns and hues that you can uh, coordinate and, comp- and, and make in combination for the holiday season that we don't have to stick to red and green. And please, let's, let's stop with the ugly sweaters. That shit, I don't know where that shit came from. Don't care. Just stop with the ugly sweater. That's 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 a that's immature. It's not fashion. It's not it's not even funny at this point. Like who cares? Who cares if your sweater's ugly? Like buy a sweater that's not ugly so you can wear it year round. Anyway, that was my rant for today. Um, and I'm gonna rant later too on this song. Baby, it's cold outside, dude. That's Is that not a date rape song? Am I the only person that hears that? And I hear it in stores. You got kids with their family, with their moms and their dads in in stores. And I hear baby is cold outside. And she says, hey, what's in this drink? And he's like, oh, baby, it's cold outside. Like, bruh, that's date rape. Anyway. So what I want to talk about, like I said, is different ensembles uh, that we can do for the holiday season. Um, the Fair Isle sweater is very popular for this time of year. It's a fall classic. It's a it's a winter staple. Um, with the patterns on Fair Isle, it's also very convenient for December, which is the meat of the holiday season. So what I did was I went with a simple tweed blazer, herringbone pattern. I went with this uh, V-neck Fair Isle sweater. Now it's got fall hues in it, but it also has a little has a little touch of spring in it too. So I would consider it a year-round fair isle sweater or three of the four seasons anyway. Quick story, bit quick backstory behind this uh, particular sweater. When I saw it online three years ago, I said, "Oh, I gotta have that sweater vest." I I went immediately put it in my in my cart paid for it and was like yes gotta have that that's really nice and when it arrived it was a long sleeve sweater so i was disappointed because you know it's like when you get when you get your mouth ready for a taco and instead you gotta eat kentucky fried chicken it's kind of like yeah but you know it's still it's still ralph lauren it's still a beautiful piece they did uh compensate me um in a certain way but I still wish it would have been a sweater vest just for the fact of um, then I definitely could have wore it year round. I'd have found a way to incorporate it into my summer wardrobe. Anyway, I went with this particular Fair Isle sweater 
um, the colors in it, I decided to coordinate with the entire rest of the outfit. So there's green here, here in this fair out pattern. So I went with the green chinos. The magenta and the navy blue trim here is in my bow tie and then my shirt is that dark Columbia blue, I would say. And that's also in the fair eye pattern. And then my, my hues of tans go with the herringbone tweed blazer and the loafers I'm wearing that have herringbone on the family. So this is an outfit that I would wear. A matter of fact, I was invited to, I've been invited to two separate um, holiday parties. I'm not sure if I'm going to either one of them because they're both out of state, but if I do go, this will be one that I will take with me to wear um, to one of those functions. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of outfits on the rig. I also have another outfit that I'm going to style for you on me for the other holiday function I was in, uh, invited to. So, you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, for our first ensemble, what we focused on as our primary piece are the black watch tartan trousers. Now, this particular pair, I purchased these online and I took them straight to my tailor because I knew they were going to be classic fit. How did I know that? Well, because they're pleated. And I've never seen pleated come from the manufacturer in a slim fit. So I took them straight to my tailor and she was able to accommodate me and cut these into a slimmer fit. I would say they're probably not a true slim fit. They're probably a slim straight with a nice taper at the bottom. Now, uh, these are, there's a version of these uh, now available in your local factory outlet store. I saw a pair the other day. Um, they're not pleated, of course, but they're uh, slim fit with stretch in them, um, but it's the black wash pants. So it's a pretty nice pair. I wanna say they were on retail for $79.99. And then as you know, the factory stores have great black, black Friday pricing. So if you're in need of these particular pants, you can catch them at a factory store ASAP. So like I said, we went with the black wash trousers pleated and we threw on this beautiful cable knit polo golf sweater vest in the red. So I was just dispelling the myth about red and green and then look what I did, but what the fuck ever. Um, the polo golf logo has the crest on it with the cross uh, uh, golf thingies, the cross golf clubs, clubs. But the beautiful thing of it is it, it has a holiday tartan plaid pattern right here. It's subtle. Of course, it doesn't. It's not the same as this black watch, but it just it just brings everything together, in my opinion. Went with a blue and white striped dress shirt. We have the black watch tartan wool bow tie. And then for uh, headwear, if you wanted to, you could throw on the uh, double RL uh, wool fedora. Now, shoe-wise, we, we have a medium brown belt so i would go with a brown loafer or you could do the uh brown collars velvet slippers if you like what i would say because we're talking about the holiday season so it's probably it's probably chilly outside wherever you are you're going to need a, a, a coat or a jacket or a blazer now me personally i would go with a blazer navy blue blazer gold buttons finish the look off clean now you may be encouraged or enticed to try to go with a black wash tartan blazer. Um, if it's not an actual suit, then don't do it. Now, on that note, if you have a black wash tartan suit, if you have three pieces, in my opinion, I'm not asking, I'm not telling, I'm just saying. If you have three pieces, only wear two. Don't wear all three. The blazer, the waistcoat, and the pants are too much. Do I even have to tell you that if you add a black watch button down shirt under those three pieces, how that's too much? I shouldn't have to say it. So I'm not. But you could do two pieces. So you could do pants and a waistcoat. You could do pants and the blazer. You could do the blazer and the waistcoat. I wouldn't. 
I would probably, me personally, I would, I would do pants and the waistcoat with a different blazer or maybe a shawl cardigan in a different color, solid, something like that. If you're gonna do the black watch tartan suit in any form or fashion. But as I stated, with this ensemble here, I, me personally, just to keep it clean, navy blue blazer, gold button, slim fit, nice silhouette, smooth lines. You could do this jacket, a tweed blazer. You could do some tweed or a herringbone or something of that, of that nature also. That will bring down the level of uh, sophistication to the outfit, in my opinion. So you do better going with that navy blue blazer with gold buttons. But this is outfit number two, because this is outfit number one. But this is outfit number two, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice, smart, sophisticated look for any office party or family gathering. Now our next ensemble is a little uh, more laid back than the previous ensemble. Office get-togethers, ho holiday parties like that that are work-related. I probably wouldn't suggest this outfit, but family functions, this outfit is actually perfect. So the buffalo plaid checked ski cardigan is our focal point on this particular ensemble. Now what I did was I went with a buffalo plaid check bow tie, and then I went with hues of gray. Why did I go with hues of gray and not black? Well, for several reasons. One, as you guys know, as far as fashion and ensembles, I'm not a huge fan of black. I don't own any black dress shoes. I own maybe one pair of black jeans. I'm not a huge fan of black. However, I do love monochrome. So when we add hues of gray, like the gray slim fit cords or the gray herringbone dress shirt, then that, pull, that still pulls our outfit together and allows me to wear a medium brown driver loafer on my feet and still you know, be in the house and be good to go. Now, the flip side of this is, is you could take this tie off, this bow tie, and you could go no neckwear, and you could put these beauties on instead. These are a pair of Collis wool loafers. Very rare, very hard to find. They have the buffalo plaid check on it. They have a crest and crown on the vamp here. Um, these are one of my favorite pair of slippers just because I know how rare they are. That being said, I do have a particular shirt that I do love to wear with these slippers. This sweater is not it. I just feel because of the weight of this ski cardigan, and once it's paired together with a pair of cords, it's just a bit much to go with these wool, uh, these wool slippers with this particular outfit. But I do have a buffalo plaid piece that I wear particularly with these shoes. But um, so yeah, like I said, this is this is something that's not necessarily office party, but it's definitely holiday season. It's definitely for friends and family functions and get togethers at grandma house, things of that nature. This is a perfect outfit. All right, so this particular ensemble, I will wear to a more casual holiday party, like at somebody's house or, or, or something of that nature. Um, office party, mm, probably wouldn't wear denim, probably would wear something a little more dressier, or a, little, a little more corporate to an office holiday party. Now, unless you're the boss or your boss says it's okay to wear casual denim, then by all means, do what you feel. But we all know that, you know, bosses tend to say stuff just so that we can do it or don't do it. And so that they'll have something that they might need to hold against us later. Don't kill the messenger, I'm just, I'm just telling the truth. However, that being said, this for one of the uh, two holiday parties that I was invited to. One of them is at someone's residence. So this is a little more casual. I'm gonna do the jeans here. This is a pair of uh, Sullivan Slim Fit, dark wash, no distress, no fading, nice crispy clean silhouette here. The Oxford cloth button down in a mint green. I, I needed a lighter color 
to go with the rest of the ensemble because the rest of the ensemble is either neutral or dark. Then I did one of the tartan ascots. This one has the red in it along with the yellow. And in a minute, I'll show you my socks and my shoes to go with, to pull off the rest of the outfit. Now this blazer is a herringbone tweed blazer. It is a full Norfolk. It even has a functional belt, three button, single vented in the back. It fits perfect. This is one of my favorite blazers. Matter of fact, this is the fa my favorite blazer that I own, is this Norfolk here. It's got a throat latch, it's, it's, it's comfortable, it keeps me warm. I could throw a scarf on with it and I'm good to go in pretty much any type of inclement weather with this heavy tweed blazer on. Um, let me show you my socks and my shoes so uh, we can finish off this outfit. So what I decided to go with as far as footwear, I went with the red cable knit socks. And I went with the tartan rugby Ralph Lauren velvet slippers. They have the collegiate lettering on the vamp. They are diamond quilted on the inside for comfort. Tartan design, which matches the ascot that I'm wearing. And that completes our second holiday ensemble look. Just a little green tea. Very special. On my green tea kick today. However, before we wrap this episode up, my apologies. I neglected to talk to you guys on the last episode, Denim Denim Denim, about the the, the purpose of stretch or how to gauge stretch in Ralph Lauren Denim. So what I've come, the conclusion I've come to is that they add the stretch in there for just what it sounds like, for that added stretch. However, I, I'm pretty sure that they're compensating for the stretch by making the size a little narrower. So what I've ended up having to do with my, any stretch denim that I've purchased is I've had to actually go up a size in the waist to compensate for the fact that it's a little bit smaller than all the other denim. So I'm a 34, I like a 34 length, even though my length is actually, my inseam is actually 31. I like a 34 length so I can get that cuff that we talked about. So I'm a 34, 34. Well, if I buy a pair of uh, denim jeans with stretch in it, in the Sullivan Slim Fit, I buy a 36-34. So, it's always best to be able to try stuff on, but keep that in mind when you're shopping uh, Ralph Lauren denim and it has stretch in it. So, that's that. I definitely had to address that. But other than that, that's another episode in the books. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, get in the comment section, and Tell me what you thought about the holiday ensembles. Don't forget too, I didn't show you one because I don't have one because I gave one away uh, for free in March. But um, don't forget the Martini Bear sweater. Martini Bear sweater is perfect for your holiday parties. Um, me personally, when I had mine, I only wore it on New Year's Eve. I didn't wear it any other time. That's just because I wanted it to be kind of special exclusive elusive you know what i mean but the martini bear sweater is perfect for holiday parties if you want to uh throw it on you can throw it on with a pair of tuxedo pants um or a pair of dress pants or whatever nice pair of dress shoes the martini bear sweater is a conversation piece so you can do pretty much whatever you want to as far as the ensemble that goes with it but get in the comment section and let's talk about the ensembles that I did on the rig and the two that I wore. Tell me what you think, what you like, didn't like. I know y'all liked it all, but, you know, you know, I gotta say that. Anyway, hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell a friend. We here. Y'all have a good one.